Yo, what's good guys? RPA here using that max power return on YouTube. And today we're going to be doing something uh, a little bit different for me, I guess. I mean, well, okay, well, well, we're in the wrong tier in the first place. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Switch that real quick. Anyway, so um, it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. Or like two, It's 2.25 to be exact. And I just didn't feel like going to... I, I was in bed and I was like, yeah, you know what? Let me, let me just get out. And so I just decided to... I uh, guess I'll hop on the ladder and record for a bit, but like the minute I started trying to do this, I got really tired all of a sudden. So uh, if I if like halfway through this, I just like pass out. I'll just edit something, edit together in the morning, and um, or finish recording it whenever I wake up. So now we got that out of the way. That the fact that it's two almost two thirty in the morning. Um, I'm going to be playing NU for the first time in a long ass while it's been a very very long time since i've played the nu tier and um there have been some changes uh, we're actually currently in the suspect test phase they're suspect testing um mega camera up and typhlosion so basically fire spam uh specs typhlosion is a fantastic pokemon this hits incredibly hard with eruption there is no such thing as a switch in unless you at least unless you downright are immune to fire or your name is um Mantine, as if uh, for type uh, for Typhlosion's sake, there we go. And as far as um, big camera goes, with sheer force boosted 145 special attack, more than likely modest max special attack uh, fire blast coming from um, blast of fire blast twice. Uh, and uh, it's it's a bad morning. <laughs> But yeah, sheer force, modest, max special attack, fire blast coming from camera up. Just there is no such thing as switch into these two Pokemon. Um, and Mantine is <laughs> Mantine is uh, two hit by the um, rising in popularity set, which carries Hidden Power Electric, which basically. Mantine is not a switch in anymore. It just it gets annihilated. And I'm pretty sure that Mantine actually can't Oko in return from Max with uh, Scald. So that's that's pretty ridiculous. Um, as far as my what I think about them, uh, I think Typhlosion is fine, to be completely honest. The only problem I would think about is over centralization. Uh, it, it is second in the tier in terms of usage. Uh, behind Hariyama, who isn't going anywhere, because Hariyama really, I mean, it's the benchmark of any at the at this moment in time. It's on like every team. It is one of the uh, few Pokemon that can actually downright counter these two monsters, and it's just not even counter. It's just a check because um, Yama's actually whittled down and uh, worn away by con taking continuous attacks from the two of them. Thick Fat Assault Vest Max Special Defense is actually very useful, but you can only you only get so many you only get so much HP and so many opportunities to switch in and things like that. So uh, that's really all I have to say about that. Uh, Typhlosion I don't think is over, is so broken to the fact where it needs to be banned. Uh, if anything, over centralization plus usage really does put a little bit over the top. Maybe that's how it leaves, but I don't see it getting banned in this. Um, as as for Mega Camera Up, there is no such thing as a switch into Mega camera up um i mean there really there really isn't any for typhlosion either but typhlosion is a lot easier to deal is a yeah it's a lot easier to deal with than uh camera up the one thing that camera up doesn't have going for it, it go, ah, doesn't have going for it is the fact that it is rather slow um on trick room teams it will absolutely annihilate you and on non trick room teams it will absolutely annihilate you uh if you allow it to if you allow camera up into the mega evolve and just run through your team it really is nothing you can do to stop it once that happens so camera up i'm in the i'm on the fence right now i really don't think either of these mods are super broken to the point where they need to be banned but mega camera up to really okay well i won't say but typhlosion honestly i don't really see a problem with it not a huge problem to the point where it needs to be uh banned from the suspect test and mega camera up i'm on the fence about uh, I could go either way. As of right now, I wouldn't ban it just because uh, it's nice to have him. Well, one, it's nice to have Mega in tier, and two, it's just <sighs> every, every. I feel like every tier needs to have a Pokemon like that. I don't know. That's a really bad reason, 
but I like the fact that my camera ups in NU, it does make people think, but it does limit team building a little bit. Um, but there are certain instances where like there are, no matter how much time you spend in team building, it just isn't enough. Like what happened with Greninja and OU, but camera ups not Greninja, so we'll see. I'm on the fence with that, I'm leaning towards no ban though. So. Now that we got all of that out of the way, <laughs> let's go ahead and discuss the team we're going to be using today. This is either going to go really well or really poorly. Uh, let me pause this for a second. Alright, my bad. I just had to check something real quick. Um, so, we have Birdman the Swallow. My spec scrappy Swallow. This is my... Oh yeah, this team is based on my two favorite Pokemon in the tier. Uh, Swallow, uh, Special Swallow with Boom Burst, Air Slash, Heat Wave, U-Turn. Um, hold on, I need to pause this. Alright, where was I? Um, so, yeah, my two favorite Pokemon here are currently Mesprit and Special Swallow. So, uh, Boom Burst, Air Slash, Heat Wave, U-Turn, Specs, Stab, Boom Burst for Swallow. I have Modest over, uh, over um, Timid because pretty much everything I'm going to outspeed uh, with a Modest nature <clears throat> are things that I would have outsped. Are, there's really no difference to the amount of things I'm going to outspeed. Um, Maybe some Scarfers that are in the 200s in speed, like low 200s, but I really don't see a huge, huge problem with that at the moment. So I'm just going to run modest specs. Um, then we have Mesper here with Life Orb. Uh, I'm actually going to change the Psychic really quickly. Whoops. So we'll have Psychic, Energy Ball, Ice Beam, and Healing Wish. I might change Ice Beam to Thunderbolt, but at the moment I'm just going to keep it as Ice Beam. It just seems, uh, it's just working a little bit better for me. And plus, um, to be honest, I think, no, let's go with Thunderbolt actually. Whoops. I think I had Ice Beam on this specifically for, um, Lilligant, but I'm not sure. I'm not. I, I, I'm out of it. I, as much as I may sound like I have energy in me, I am so out of it right now. So I apologize. So um, we have Donnie the Ride on. Uh, don't ask about the name. We have Eviolite, Rockhead, Roar, Rock Blast, Earthquake, Stealth, Rock Standard Set. Uh, I'm using very standard sets this time around because it's just um, I haven't played this tier in so long. I just want to get back into it before I start doing anything innovative. So um, then we have Power Clap, my Hariyama with Assault Vest. Uh, standard set as well, Fake Out, Earthquake, Knock Off, Close Combat. La La, the Mantine, Leftovers, Water Absorb. Um, defensive with a special defense boosted nature. Uh, Defog, Scald, Air Slash, and Toxic. And then we have Granny Smith, my Grand Bull. Leftovers, Intimidate, Heal Bell, Play Rough, Thunder Wave, and Earthquake. So we're eight minutes in, and I only wanted to do this for about 20 minutes, so. Oh, I'll do two battles at the very minimum, so hopefully we can get this done in less than 20 minutes and I can go to sleep, so yeah, let's go ahead and click look for battle. Uh, apparently all the good players are on at this time, that, at this time. so um, I'm very intrigued as to what kind of battles I'll find, and we find one very quickly. So here's Rhydon, uh, let me see, I mean, whoa, whoa, so here we have a team here. Um, I could actually leave with the Grand Bull rather safely. Uh, I could T Wave pr uh, practically everything on his team, and um, he doesn't have a super legitimate switch in. Uh, UC with Heal Bell is an issue. I could, oh, I could actually leave with Rhydon if he doesn't lead, as long as he doesn't lead with his um, Executor, I should, I'll be fine actually. So he's gonna go for Knock Off, Knock Off, like, that's actually very it's troubling. But I'm not too worried about it right now. I'm, gonna skip, I'm just going to click Rock Blast. Um, as he actually goes for his own Stealth Rock here. And, wow. Alright, that didn't do too much. That didn't do um, too little. I'm actually going to phase out whatever he goes into here. As he's actually running Sunny Day for... Um, so, wow, that might actually, that actually be a huge problem. Um, I think I'm actually just go for Roar again, just to phase out Dusclops in case he's gonna go for Willow with that is gonna make me pretty much useless on this ride on. I'm just gonna keep phasing things out as he does get his sock out now. Um I could try to phase it out again, but I think my best option might actually be to go into Gramble. Um just because of the fact that I will get the intimidate boost off and I can go straight for uh Thunder Wave if that's what 
that that's necessary. As he just goes straight for close combat, he, does, he decides not to do anything uh, reckless. So I'm actually going to go straight for uh, Thunder Wave here. As, uh, what is he? Oh no, he's not Light Orb. So I'm going to go Thunder Wave and he's going to get that off on his Dust Box here. And what I'm actually going to do here is go ahead and Heal Bell just to uh, make sure my Rhydon can uh, be himself, I guess. Uh, get some stuff done. Uh, I'm going to go into Lara here, my man time, and I'm going to go ahead and defog away these hazards. And then after that, I think I'll toxic his Uxie. Uh He's got one more turn of sand left, and I really don't uh, care too much about this at the moment. He's going to go for Confuse Ray again. I don't understand why he would... Why he would uh... Yeah, I'm not really understanding his thought process here. I'm actually going to go back into Ride on here. As uh, he doesn't really, really is nothing. As he's gonna go for Will O Wisp again, but I do get rocks up again, which is uh, very nice for me. Uh, I would assume he go for back to Yuxi so he can get his own rocks up, and uh, the cycle continues. But what I'm actually gonna do here to break the cycle is go into my Swallow so that I can go ahead and just boom burst something. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do here is pull. Uh, I'm gonna go to go for the U-turn on it. Just to get uh, put it in range of Boom Burst later on and go into Mantine. So let's see what happens. He goes for knockoff on my Mantine. I'm gonna go for Defog here. And then what I could do is go for Toxic on his Executor, because he's probably gonna set up Sun here. Yeah, as that's what he does. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go for Toxic as his Executor comes in. Or I could go for Air Slash. Either one works. Um I think I'll just go for Toxic though, that might actually be the best move for me at this point. Just so I can get some residual damage off, and um, I really don't care about Executor at this point. And I'm going to get the Toxic off on this Magius, which is actually not bad at all, so... Um, I don't want to sacrifice Rhydon just yet, but if it comes down to it, I'm going to need to. But I'm actually going to go to Hariyama here. Um, if this turns out to be like Willowless Miss Magius, I, that's gonna suck because I, I, I'm actually running a uh, thick fat. Normally, I run guts on my Assault Miss Hariyama, so uh, it just if that ends up costing me, so he's actually gonna pull the double into his Uxie. That's actually very annoying. Um, so I'm gonna fake out here, and after that, I'm going to go ahead and go back into my man time. As he goes, as he actually goes for knock off again. Um, should I just go for Toxic again? I'm gonna go for Toxic again, uh, just because I can get residual damage on his Uxi now, and now he his time is limited. I'm just gonna go straight for Defog, um, just to get the rocks off my side of the field again, as he goes for Heal Bell. That's annoying. Very annoying. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is actually go for a Scald. Let's see if I can get a burn. That would be very nice, as he's actually going to go into Kangaskhan here. Uh, let's see if I can get that burn. Nope. Of course not. Uh, hmm. Uh, this is a predicament. Um, I'm actually going to go Gramble here. Let's get the minus one, and... Okay, that didn't do too much. I was kind of holding my breath for a second there. Uh, so I'm going to go for T-Wave. Uh, T-Wave affects everything on his team, and really... Um, put the stop to... I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. Uh, that It would really help me against his sock, because uh, it could be um, choice. Alright, so what I'm actually going to do here is pull a switch into my Swallow, and I can just boom burst everything. Literally just boom burst everything. Um, hmm. I just can go for Heal Bell. Get the burn off my ride on. Um, so hopefully I can get the full para here. And what I'll actually do instead of stealth rocking, I'll just roar out. Yeah, he goes for the Lilith. Oh, he misses the Lilith. Joy. Alright, let's go for the stealth rock. Um, beautiful. And he does. He opts not to. All right, so I'm actually gonna roar here. And he gets the confusion. Okay, cool. I didn't get confused, so I'm good. As long as Yuxi isn't the one getting dragged out, I am okay with that. Um, I'm gonna go for Roar again, just in case he wants to set up a sub. Uh, I don't need Ride On at this point anymore. 
and there is no point to me keeping it around. He goes for infestation, that's annoying. Yes, and they get the roar off. Fantastic. Alright, I'm gonna actually go for roar again. Uh, just because. Okay. I'm gonna go for roar again just because, uh, in case Miss Magius wants to go for sub. But he is actually gonna play no games, and I realize that he, uh, does not have the, um, he doesn't have life orb. So I'm actually gonna go into my Hariyama here. And I've whittled away his team to the point where uh, he really doesn't have any secure switch into um, to Swellow's Boom Burst, and that could be that's very detrimental. Uh, Yuxi's at the point where I could just KO it with uh, Boom Burst. Um, why does it say Dust Claps is active? I don't know. But uh, he goes into his Yuxi here, and combined with I, I, I think Knockoff would have been enough to take it off uh, to take it out on his own. Um, but I should be able to take on the rest of his team with um, Swellow and Hariyama, as he's probably gonna switch to his the only, the only switch in he has is okay. Uh, he's assault vested Hariyama with max special defense. I mean, it's still gonna take a good amount. Never mind, I lied. Didn't take a good amount. <laughs> it's scarf Miss Magius, as I find out with, uh, once I knocked him off. So um, yeah, I just click boom burst and win at this point. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I think I'll just sacrifice man time for no reason. <laughs> now nah, I'm just gonna go to Gramble. Safest play. I'm not trying to lose early on. Uh, that's actually doing a decent amount of damage. But what I'm gonna do here is just go straight for play rough. There really is no point to me doing anything else. So I'm just gonna go straight away to the play rough. And this is actually the fastest I've gone. And this is turn 33 already. Oh my gosh, he ate that. Absolutely ate that. Um, so I'm actually... Mm, Hariyama's not safe. Yama's not safe. I'm gonna go into Swellow. Just because I don't have much HP for him to paint split. Okay, well, as much I should have said. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Boom Burst. Wow, I have 44. Not even bad. Alright, we're good. I just click Boom Burst and win now. Uh, fake out from a silk scarf Kangaskhan will still be an issue. Uh, I'll just switch into my um, Grand Bull at that point. I'm lagging. I hate when the animations lag because it's just like the screen just freezes for a good few seconds. And then, um, alright, so Kanga comes in, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and go into Granny Smith again. Uh, if he pulls a double, that'd be fantastic, but uh, there really is no point to him attempt oh my gosh and he gets the crit. No magnet. Shout out to crit magnet though. Um so I'm actually go for T Wave. I should just go for damage to be completely honest. But T Wave does uh ensure that against um against Sock and Executor I keep the upper hand. So I'm gonna go for play rough on Kangaskhan just try to put it in range of the um Yeah. <laughs> to put it in range of boom bursts and I think that I might actually yeah that, that that's really unfortunate the para hack is just annihilating this man right now um yeah I just realized I'm like three wow three straight turns I, I'm I'm I am legit sorry but you kept breaking through it earlier so I guess this is my vengeance and he has rest That, that deserves a standing ovation. I'm gonna go for knockoff because the... Really... He would think I would go for close combat and go into his executor. And, um... I don't need that. And plus I'll just knock off any item he has. I think he has not, he has leftovers if I'm not mistaken. So I'm actually gonna go... Oh my gosh, he woke up early. Early bird? You have early bird. I'm not even gonna lie, it's actually not bad. But, I should still have this, so I'm just going to click Close Combat now. As, um, if he switches into, ex into the Executor, yeah, I have this. Alright, I'm not bad. I'm not bad! And I'm proud. Um, <laughs> so he's going to go into Sock here. 
Um, really, there's no point to me switching out. I could actually, I could switch into Granville, but there literally would be, no yeah, I, I'm just gonna do it, <laughs> just because it's the safe play. Um, as he goes for Poison Jab that turn, not even bad. Um, but can you handle the Specs Air Slash though? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mesper's not. Oh, that's another reason I like Beam. Grass types are an issue with this set. All right, uh, let me just make sure that I correct that next time. Um, let's go to Swallow and click Air Slash. Yeah, I just went with that. Uh, crit didn't matter. Specs Air Slash from Swallow. I mean, its special attack is rather low. I'll give it that. But just stab plus socks bad special defense, like it it, it just it, it's a good game. <laughs> I don't even know what to try to say anymore. It's too early for this, and um, I guess I'll go get one more. I'm not really feeling that tired, so I will be back. Let me let me click share replay real quick. Um, we'll go ahead and do one more, and then we will go to sleep. That's what we will do. That's exactly what we're gonna do. What we will do so AJ Adonje. I've seen this name before. Um, oh crap, I'm on the wrong account. I just realized, oh well, I don't care. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, what I'm gonna do here is actually lead off with my um, he's got print pluck to for hazards and to get them off the field as well. Um, what I could do is lead straight away with Gramble and the Teton. Nah, 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 nah. No, I'll just leave Yama as he goes as he leads Prince Club. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is actually knock off his Eviolite. Uh, if he has Toxic, that's fine with me. And he wants to go for that, that's also fine. And then what I will actually ooh Skull, please. Oh come on. Sigh. All right. All right. That's annoying. Um, let's go to Granny Smith here. Bell. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually, um, I could T wave, but I feel the switch is coming. I could play rough on the switch. Well, let's T wave on the switch. See what it does. So I get. So he's got toxic on me right now. Um. So I'll actually heal Bell here, as he goes into Typhlosion here. Um. So now I click Hariyama. Big fat assault vest, please pull through. Oh, I did 21. That still did 21. That's not even. That, that's not even like. Oh, it did 21. No, it still did 21%. Good lord. All right, I could go for earthquake. We're gonna go for knockoff here, just in case he decides to go into Rotom. Uh, predicting that, but he's gonna go into Print Plup here. And what I could do is actually go into my uh, Mantine. As he probably goes for Toxic, but he doesn't get the chance to, so I'm going to go for Defog. Um, just because he's going to go into Rodom here. Uh, there really is nothing I can do about that. And what do I do after this? I don't have any safe switch. That's unfortunate. Uh, and I can't risk Yama coming in on something stupid. Um, I, but he can't risk going for... Hmm. Wisp? He could have Wisp. I'm actually going to ride on here. Just in case. Even if he has Willow Wisp, I don't really care. Um, because I get my rocks up now as he goes into Primple Up. And then from there, I'll go into. I think I'll go into Swallow here. And just click Boom Burst. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I should have been on my. Oh, damn it! I'm annoyed. <laughs> Wait, why? I understand. Ugh. Oh my gosh, he, he he did not eat that. He did not eat that. Um, I do have enough to live. 
Maybe. Oh wait, fire blast. Should come. Ooh, he misses the fire blast. Damn. Damn, son. Alright, I'm gonna go for knockoff. Liliant. Knock off the life orb. Um This was a reason Ooh. Nah. This was one of the re this is one of the things that I was um thinking about on my other team. Um <laughs> I have uh what should we call it? What should we call it? Forget it. I don't even remember what it was now. Uh as he misses the sleep powder. Damn. Ugh. Oh, I hate I hate winning that way. Like I don't well I haven't won yet, but um Honestly, I really don't have to play safe anymore. I could just go for knockoff. I'm just go for knockoff here. And um Is that a scarf for specs type? Because So I'm just gonna go for knockoff here. He's probably gonna go into his um Rotom. I mean sock. What? Gave me freaking Rotom as its name. Alright, it's Dread Plate. So, what do I do here? Um, I mean, just attack her. Gonna Gramble. Click Heal, though. That might be a Scarf Typhlosion if he's not, um. Yeah, yeah. Alright, uh. Should I click Heal, though? Should I just click Play Rough, to be honest? I'll just click the elbow. Just cause. Uh, he's gonna U-turn out and... I really don't see any switch other than... Rotom. Yeah, Rotom is the safest thing he could go for. And, um... Still. Why does he go for Play Rough? As he goes for Shadow... Oh, that did all too much damage. Okay. Puts him in range though. And I'm pretty sure you're not Scarf. Uh, Yama serves no purpose to me now. Okay, and I know you're not Scarf now because you just switched to full switch. So, I'm actually going to go into... I actually win the game with um, Swellow if his sock isn't Scarfed. Gramble. Play rough. And we'll see how we'll see how this goes. Uh, damn, th that that fire blast miss, uh, coupled with the uh, sleep powder miss, that just sucks so much. So he's gonna sacrifice his Rotom here, and that actually puts me in a much more likable position, as now I can switch in right on on um, his Typhlosion, and I can. I can actually go to work with Rhydon, to be completely honest. I still have my Evo line on, which means that he can't kill me with his um with that with this stuff. Anyway, I'm just gonna go to Rhydon here. As he goes for him power grass predicting that night nice, nice, nice. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Um I'll actually just sacrifice you, to be completely honest. And then I'll just go into um Swallow. Swallow! Swellow wins the game. Alright, uh, I could go for Air Slash. But Boom Burst is cooler. <laughs> That's literally all it comes down to. Boom Burst is cooler. Um, with Rocks Up, I will be able to wither, uh, to wear down this Typhlosion uh, with a combination of Attack and the Rocks. And yeah, AJ Adonji is actually a pretty good player uh, from what I've seen. Um, he's a frequent in the studio. That did all too much damage. So let me take care of that Typhlosion now. Um, and I find. Well, I just figured out it's scarfed. Um, back into Granny Smith. Oh my gosh, I'm, I just realized I'm taking way too much damage from these rocks. Because he knocks off my leftovers. You suck. Alright, um. Play rough. I don't think he has anything he can KO me with, to be completely honest. Um, he's got U turn, he's got knockoff. He can. He just has to sacrifice Lampard here. That's really. All right. So, uh, 
I, I don't know. Oh, he was really, he was getting his rank up there too. Uh, so yeah, I guess all the good players do come out of, <laughs> do come out in the middle of the freaking morning. 2 a.m. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Sorry it was a little bit of a shorter live than you're used to, but I guess you'll be seeing some more and new suspect tests soon. I'm gonna do another inheritance live soon because that got some really good reviews. Um, and I want to thank you guys for supporting me so far. I mean, I know I say this, uh, I don't say this a lot, I guess, but I know I've said this a few times, but I just want to thank each and every one of you for. Um, watching me basically and uh, it's been it's been a crazy little ride we've been on and uh, I just want to thank you guys for being there for every step of the way so if you're new hit that subscribe button if you are not new or new just hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and <laughs> it, whoever you are just click uh, forget it just just like comment subscribe I'm gonna, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just keep it real with you guys just click just do all three of those things and yeah, life will go on as usual. <laughs> this was a fun battle, I actually like doing this. Uh, this is a pretty interesting team I put together now that I think about it. I never got to send out Mesprit, and it's literally one of the Pokemon this team is built around. <laughs> Anyways, until we meet again, alright, peace out. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.